Hey y'all, hey. My name is Gina. As if you don't already know, because you are probably already a subscriber of mine or me and my girlfriends for our daily vlog channel. But if you're not, my name is Gina. Again, sometimes I go by G or whatever for short, and I'm a daily vlogger here on YouTube. And I made this channel a while back or ago just to kind of have um, extra footage, and I love to bake and rant and just kind of share all the things that I'm going through in this journey called life. And at this point in my life, I'm kind of going through um, this stage where I'm learning so much about myself and others and just finding my own sense of worth and comfort being me being gay having friends living in different places you know being in my mid-20s oh yeah and I apologize for the shadow I only have one light and it's not even like a real studio light so don't judge me I'm working with what I got peeps just trying to make it happen but anyways what I'm saying is, is in learning about myself and others and just kind of like how to deal with being me, I've obviously started to get very familiar with others that are similar to me and I have YouTube to thank for that. So thank you uh, for just kind of giving me new people to get to know and things to experience and at the same time this is coincidentally happening for me personally of course this year or this month the supreme court ruling ruled against the ban on gay marriage and i know there's a lot of people with different opinions and it's really hard for me to be a gay person and kind of find my own voice within this conversation and i know most people would think that was easy like i obviously would just assume my rights and go for and fight for what it's worth but me as a person I have always been somewhat against fighting for what I want I've always believed in a lot of times fighting for things tends to create more hostility more closed-minded more rebuttals more friction whatever it is I feel like I would rather be pro equality pro people's rights pro non-judgment like just People being allowed to be people. It's not necessarily that I'm against people that don't believe in gay marriage. Because for me personally, I know I shouldn't accept people that are being judgmental or discriminatory towards me. But the fact of the matter is, no matter who you're talking about, no matter what person, where, from what country, or what age, or religion, or background everyone judges others it's just kind of the way that you judge people or some people are obviously very cruel and some people live and breathe just kind of whether it's negative or positive kind of living through others and whether that's hate or you know being obsessed with people it's kind of the same thing but my focus kind of got always got lost in that for me because I didn't want to be fighting. I always kind of saw that as a negative thing. Now, of course, somebody has to fight for gay rights. People need to take a stand. People need to say it's not right. I totally agree with that. But I have come from a very conservative background. I grew up in a Catholic school. Um, everyone in my family is very uncomfortable with me being gay. And I, in all honesty, was so uncomfortable being gay. I did not want to be gay. I tried to pray it out of myself. I know it was obviously something I learned from my culture, the people that I knew, and kind of things that were being told to me. But at the same time, that was something that I felt, I really felt an issue with being gay and especially having people at odds with me or against me of course just makes it easier to go in the closet I know so many of you have to know what I'm talking about but it's crazy to me being against anything whether it's against hate or against something positive you're still against something and for me that's like the law of attraction in the sense of you're just focusing on the negative instead of focusing on the pro you're focusing on stopping the negative and even though that sounds positive the whole double negative thing doesn't actually work out it's not true and so as far as being gay goes I feel like everyone needs to stop with the labels whether it's people that are gay or people that are heterosexual or whatever and just realize that we're all people it, it's not a choice it's not your choice to agree with it. It's not their choice to be that way. But at the end of the day, it is our choice to kind of accept people and embrace people because don't we all want to be accepted and appreciated? We don't really care if our neighbor likes us or if our neighbor wants to have us over for dinner maybe, or at least I don't. 
but I at least want to be respected, whether it's for being gay, whether it's for being a female, whether it's for being my age, whatever it is. Anytime people look down on you for something that's, a, I always break it down to a label, but your age, your sexual preference, your sex, your job experience, whatever, they're not getting to know you. They're not focusing on the person, they're focusing on the facts. And I'm not ever asking people to embrace or even want to be a part of being gay or anything that makes you uncomfortable. My issue is why don't you just accept it because you know how many people think something about you? or your lifestyle or whatever it is is uncomfortable to them or they don't approve of but it doesn't matter because it's your life and you don't need their approval just like they don't need yours so at the same time if everyone would stop spreading negativity even if it's to try to stop negativity again if the focus was all on just being people and just accepting one another, I feel like across the board, whatever we're talking about, just gay happens to be something that's a very important thing, obviously in my life, obviously in a lot of people's lives right now. And it makes people uncomfortable. But at the end of the day, doesn't most things that you're not used to make you uncomfortable? Like if somebody dances around in a crazy costume in public and you're not like that, makes you uncomfortable. If somebody's screaming loud and you're reserved. Like there's so many things, obviously being gay to a religious person is a totally different argument and battle. But my point is you don't want gay people talking to any of you that agree with that sentence about being religious, you don't want any gay people to sit here and tell you why being gay is whatever and basically challenge your beliefs because you feel like you have to defend yourself. Well, that's exactly, this. it's a two-way street here. So I feel like if people would stop trying to force people to understand and force people to like stop hating and just let people be people, if that means they wanna do whatever it is they're gonna do, they're gonna do it regardless but the more resistance people have in whatever manner, it just creates more energy. I love this quote, it's like, energy flows where attention goes. And that's so true, just like how you see all these like people that get famous off of doing something ridiculous or even being negative. Any kind of attention, even if it's negative attention, can still somehow breed positivity for those people and then they get all these opportunities and Americans sit back in their life or whoever from all over the world people sit back and wonder but that's because you fed into it you cared you talked about it just like that person that you hate down the street or whatever all the times that you keep talking about them it, the housewives the re, real housewives garbage tv and stuff like that always reminds me of this because people just keep talking about the same drama over and over again and wonder why it never goes away and it's because you're fueling this fire and this gay movement is the same thing Hate is hate across the board, I agree. This is no different than women's rights, civil rights, people are people. But my point is, I almost wanna defend straight people in the sense of, to, make, to get them to hear me, that nobody cares if you accept us, or you wanna fucking walk down the aisle, or if it doesn't freak you out at night. I can't say that there hasn't been a person at of any walk of life that I've encountered that didn't make me a little judgmental or for whatever reason, but I remember that it's not my job to be thinking about somebody else's weight, lifestyle, looks. If I don't like it, just move on. The more time we spend like hating on each other, the more hate we get back, and then we wonder why we're all miserable because people are just fighting all these negative battles and even Social media is horrible because there's so many people that are out there to send good messages, but you get so lost in all the negative ones because of course there's like people that spew all kinds of ignorance online and it's not your job to fix them. It's not your job to save the world. It is not your job to stop it. And you're, if you, as soon as you freaking start fighting with them, it's like you're dancing with the devil. There is no good that's going to come out of it. Just walk past it, know that you're better, not than them, because you're not better than anybody, even if they're ignorant, but that you're better off not being like that person. Every time you see something that disturbs you or upsets you, just be thankful you don't think like that. Of course, you need to always promote positivity and you definitely do need to fight for who you are and whatever, but there's a fine line with when it becomes like who you are and I feel like my a lot of my life I fought for who I was for so long that I kind of lost relationships because I was fighting myself through them because I was trying to find my own way instead of just learning from them 
taking it in, processing it, doing what I need to and moving forward. Because if I want something positive, if I want to be accepted, I have to accept other people. I have to. And that means all of the people I don't like. Because that means that the people that don't like me, I want them to accept me. So I kind of have to be the change I want to see and all of those quotes that you hear over time. You know, Mother Teresa said, I will never attend an anti-war rally, but if you want to have a peace rally, invite me. Because that's exactly the point I was saying about like the anti-war just creates more war because the, the concept is war. So anytime you're fighting, you're still fighting. So the people who win are not the people that are laying over and taking it and losing their self-worth. That is not what I mean. But the people that can accept both sides and realize, you know what? I know who I am. I'm going to figure it out on my own if I'm not sure. But I know I don't want to be like that. And eventually people think of you as like a role model or appreciate what you have to say because it's different. You're not just going with what everybody else said. And that was always my struggle with being gay and like the whole community is because I thought everyone was fighting for it and I congratulate and I'm so happy for the people that take pride and go full throttle. I am not picking anything apart with what you do. The world needs people like you. But for me, anytime you're feeding negativity, you're literally just intensifying it. You're doubling it. You're just creating more of the things that you don't want, which is all the law of attraction, everything you guys hear me talk about all the time. It's true and I've witnessed it day by day. I've seen it. I feel it. I understand it. It's just like when you bring anything up in your life or you come across people or things and you talk about it and then later on down the road there's something else about that random subject or person that you had brought up in a conversation that you see the same thing happens with hate and negativity. If you're always talking about it, you're just creating more of it. You're not actually making it better. So if the focus would shift and onto all of the possible solutions, all of the positive, whatever. I know as humans, we can't not acknowledge the negative. We can't not get all caught up in the gossip. I am totally there with you. I get all caught up in the cahoots of the shenanigans but that is not the point and is not going to be what saves any of us so I think just being proud to be us to be letting people be people will allow us to be us and I think doing so you find appreciation and a love for one another even if you don't like people people get confused with love and like in the sense of you can love something someone represents without loving them. And I love every single person that I encounter because everyone teaches me so many things about everything. And I'm just so thankful that I am not one of those people that are gonna be spewing hate. I have been at points in my life because I was too insecure to be me. And I think that's a lot of what it is. It's easier to deflect, it's easier to fight, it's easier to react than it is to just take it in, Take what you can from it and then regurgitate all the bullshit because holding on to it just makes you exactly what you don't want to be. So again, my point is gay, straight, or whatever, I think you just need to back away from religion and realize that you're allowed to believe in whatever it is that you believe in or not. If you, if you don't believe in God, great. Doesn't matter. You're entitled to it. But you're not entitled to tell people what they are allowed to believe in or not. So... If you want to be accepted and you want to be loved, then you have to accept other people and you have to love other people. And I think as soon as people start to do that, it's like you find this calm peace in not having to fight all of these battles. And at least that's how I feel. I, I want to help the gay community and I'm at this point in my life where I really feel this inner nudge within me to just do something and be active and I'm here in this moment in my life to realize and learn so many things about myself and hopefully maybe share that. Um, but more importantly, I got to visualize the great things and the positive things that I want and stop visualizing or focusing on all of the things that have sucked or all of the horrible constraints or people or whatever. If you're really affected by all the negativity that surrounds you or people that are mean or bash you, even when it comes to bullying, it sucks and it's so hard to say and or accept when you're going through it. But if you can just power through it and be you and not let people tear you down and not let people affect your happiness and realize you're the only one that's in control of who you are and what makes you okay. So whoever that is that makes you uncomfortable or that's different or awkward or you're whatever it is that makes you uncomfortable, 
what does it really matter? What does it really matter? It doesn't. Just let it go. Let people do their thing. People will actually have less friction the more they try to meddle within each other or control one another. I'm not saying laws don't need to exist, but I'm just saying everyday humans just accept one another. And people will do the same to you. Even if you don't think that's what you want in life and you're just like, what? I just don't believe in it and I don't understand it. Don't You don't need to understand. You don't need to understand everyone else. You just need to understand you and you will be fine. And once you're at peace with all of that, then you have nothing else to be sitting here talking about or even defending because you agree to disagree, but you don't need to fight somebody else's battles or you don't need to fight against somebody just because they don't believe you. It's not about fighting. It's just about being you. So anyways, in case you wanted to know that, that's where that went. Ha! G talk. It's what happens. <laughs> okay. Love your faces. And I'm sure there's going to be another one of these later about just more stuff about me personally. But I really wanted to make this more about being gay and stuff because I watched Joshua DTV's video, which if you have not watched, you should watch because he is a hetero straight mofo that's giving advice to how you can just accept and get over it and being gay is not a choice and you can't change that in people and it's not about you being comfortable it's just about letting them be people we're all people and we can all learn something from one another so anyways he had a great message i think it's great for straight people that stand up for one another that's what we need to promote positivity we need to promote loving each other promote getting past it, letting everyone know you're not alone. Even gay people don't want to be gay. So straight people, you're not alone, okay? Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry this was so long. That's how I roll. Make sure you check out any of the other videos down there in the links or whatever and our daily vlogs and all that jazz. And I'm out for now before I keep going forever.